Hey, I want to show how our uh, connected belt scale works. Um, and how a belt scale works is um, you've got a conveyor belt and materials going through it. And we want to know how much material is going through it per hour, per shift. And this is a Siemens belt scale. Um, and basically rollers would go on this. And then it has a load cell in it. And that load cell, we've got our, our uh, circuit board. Uh, interpreting that value and then on the screen it says it's got two pounds on there so i got to re-zero at three pounds actually that's so i'm a little high on that um so let me just quickly add just a little bit of weight i just want to show you it went back to zero one pound so good so add 18 pounds and those are actually calibration weights uh and then we're up to so we got the 19 pounds on there on the right and then, so that's one piece of the equation is weight. Um, the other piece is how fast the belt is moving. And we did a little bit of like math here. Uh, and we have this equation right there. And basically, uh, we basically have like RPM, time interval, and H, which is the distance between the idlers. And with this formula, um, when we have speed, so it's, so speed is represented by this drill. It's a known RPM that we have, and this is going to be our speed sensor. So I'm just going to turn this on. The top graph is uh, using, I think it's Ryman's approximation, uh, but basically we have one minute buckets. There's 800 pounds. And basically we're adding the total amount of weight given the weight RPM and then the RPM we to calculate feed rate and we have the total production in that one minute period um, and speed Speed will adjust the output the production output and so will weight. So once we get this one, I'm gonna Add weight and We can see the total production go up uh, Let's see so probably in the next one. So I'm going to add a little bit of weight. I'm going to add actually double the weight. So our production for this one minute slice was like 3,900 pounds uh, given these feed rates. So it's going up quicker. You can see the production. And then how we... With, the, with this approximation, how we get the total output for a given time is we just go through and we count each of the bars and that'll tell us the production total. Um, and we did rec uh, some research. There's a couple ways to calculate that. Uh, and we are choosing a left-handed approximation. And I'll show you what the code kind of looks like. So this one's going up to about twice as much. And then I want to add two more, some more weight. So we're at 57 pounds now. Our feed rate is constant. And uh, that also can change. But the gist of it is that's the speed sensor. And we have speed, force, and then given a little bit of math and... It's a little bit of science magic. We can calculate the total production. Um, and then this this graph, so this is kind of like down here. This is the, the weight on the left and right load cell. So this is the weight. And then we have belt speed and then RPM. So like as you go down, it's more and more specific. So you're dealing with voltage here. And then we do some math, math to come up with the production output. And then I'll do one more thing once, once we get this reading, kind of show. And the the gap between them is just visual. They're actually right next to each other. It's they're basically points. And then if we stop the speed, you still have weight, but you stop producing, so that bar will not go up anymore. And then, so you basically need the weight and the speed. So there's. 75 pounds. I'm going to go ahead and just remove this before we look at some code. Getting strong forearms.
Uh, negative two volts, so got it goes down a little bit. Should go to zero, hopefully. One, so yeah. Um, so real quick, we're gonna look at the code just a little bit. I don't know if there's a great angle for it. Um, so we've got some constants. Um, we've got some zero pound constants. Um, and then basically we get the speed. We're turning voltage into speed RPMs. And then we have speed and weight. And then in this reduce here, the in, inside of this reduce, we're using this formula, which we kind of have our little pictures and stuff. We're using that formula in the reduce. And basically what we do is we window every one minute and we get the time interval between the two events and we calculate the percent change. And the percent change is going to get accumulated in this reduce function. And then that's how we count the blocks. How we, we calculate how much change, how much, how much pounds has been added for this one minute period. Uh, so yeah, that's where we at, where we're at with the uh, connected scale.